Hello Gemini, this is you versus them for April 1st through April 15th. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for coming. Let's see what your past issues were in this connection. Please show me Gemini's past issues with this connection. Gemini's past issues. The Eight of Wands. Mm. Maybe you guys felt like there was not a lot of communication. There was not a lot of forward movement. Um, not enough progress in this situation, okay? Communication was lacking. Maybe the attraction was like dwindling. Or either, you know, you guys felt like it was all about the, the sexual activity you know and and not really grounded didn't have the emotional um feeling that it needed and this other person felt like they were sacrificing themselves like there was nothing they could do to um, bridge the gap between the two of you guys here okay let's see <clears throat> oh hang on guys Let's see. All right. Let's see what's keeping Gemini from this person. I feel you guys just haven't decided. Like, you don't know really what to do in this situation. You don't know how to make it right. Okay. You don't know how to make it right. You definitely want to do what's right. And you want to do, you know, what's best for you. But I'm getting that you guys really don't know, you know, solidly what exactly is best in this situation as far as this individual is concerned. What's keeping this person from Gemini? What's keeping this person from Gemini? Three of Cups. I'm feeling like this is all about the way they feel. Um, they're feeling pretty good right now. I feel like this person, they may be dating, but I think it's all about, you know, their happiness, their growth. They're, they're trying to gain emotional stability, I feel. Okay. And they feel like, you know, emotionally with you guys is unstable. The situation is unstable emotionally with you all. Okay. What's currently going on for Gemini? What's currently going on for Gemini? What's currently going on for Gemini? Hmm. Could be a breakup. Could be this breakup between the two of you. Um, but this is definitely, I feel that you guys, your eyes are being open to something here. Um, either there's some news that you've heard or there's a situation that's going on currently that um, is kind of shaking you up for sure I feel like you guys have been enlightened around a subject okay maybe there's some information that you guys have come into or a realization um, that is kind of shocking to you that you weren't expecting Scorpio energy there let's see What's currently okay going on for the individual they are trying to this person's working on their happiness it's all about what um, you know how they feel personally and I feel like it's all about their emotions I feel like this person felt emotionally unstable in a connection with you guys here they felt like there was not a lot lot that they could really um, hang their hat on in this situation so they're they're looking to start over okay they're looking for something substantial what's currently going on for them um, they may be working on their finances and that may be a part of what actually you know fulfills them emotionally in this situation emotionally in this situation they may have started to date because I feel like it's all about them you know gaining their emotional security 
okay almost feeling like they've been through a battle here and that you know a lot of the time that they sacrifice themselves their emotional well-being um, in this connection with you guys here hmm. what's influencing Gemini what's influencing Gemini Queen of Cups I feel like this individual I feel like you guys the realization that has just hit you is that you really do care about this person deeply, I feel. Um, and you know that this person cares about you. Okay. I think your feelings are coming more into focus when it comes to this connection with this individual. And you guys want to move forward. Um, I think, you know, there's a sense of not really knowing how to fix things, how to communicate that, you know, you would like to reconnect here. You would like to start over. That there's something very significant about this connection that you want to um, renew, I feel. What's influencing the other person? What's influencing the other person? The Knight of Swords. This person wants the truth, I feel. Um, I'm feeling that this person may think that you guys have were dating around with them or on them. That possibly you guys had them in a three-party relationship. Um, they want to know the truth surrounding a situation. And currently, I feel that they are waiting on you. They feel like if you guys want to reconnect, then you need to say it. That's what I'm getting, okay? You need to just say it. You need to just come clean about everything. They're waiting for justice in this situation. They're waiting for you guys to do what is right. And this energy can go vice versa. Okay, could be someone else that could be this person that, you know, is feeling this way. That, you know, they want to make something right with you guys. They have this, this almost revelation that, hey, this is a, a significant connection with this person that I want to start over, that I want to explore, that I want to renew. I want to reconnect with this individual. That maybe I did take some things for granted here. Somebody here feels taken advantage of. And I think the other person is realizing that maybe things weren't as fair as they should have been. It's the bottom line, okay? What's coming in for Gemini? The Two of Cups. This is a connection. Mutual feelings, shared feelings here. Love. Love and respect. An emotional connection. This is this person. This is the person. Okay. What's coming in for the other person? coming in for the other person the devil I feel this person is working hard to start over they're working hard to start over they're working hard in the pursuit of their happiness there may be some drinking going on here, some kind of overindulgence in this situation, um, some kind of addictions. But I feel there's a very strong attachment with you guys, and I feel like that is the reason why they're so focused on themselves right now, is because the focus was heavily on you before. Okay. What's the advice for Gemini? What's the advice for Gemini? The Knight of Cups. Hmm. Do what you want. Don't let anything stop you. If you feel like this is the person, if this is the one that you want to go for, go for it. Go for it. 
go for what you know. Okay. What would be the advice for them? Or anything else for that matter that this is pertaining to. Whatever it is that you want, go for it. Okay. What would be the advice for them? The Page of Swords. Speak the truth. Speak the truth. And also be willing to hear the truth. Okay? Be able to connect. That is the thing. Be open to learning, to hearing, to listening, I feel. And don't jump the gun is what I'm getting. Okay? What is the outcome for Gemini? Please show me the outcome for Gemini. What is the outcome? You have two cards here. The Oh, okay. The Will of Fortune and the Six of Pentacles. Loving it. Loving it. Mm -hmm. You guys getting exactly what you deserve. Okay. I feel that, you know, there is a, su a success story here. I have such a hard time saying that word. There is a success story here. Okay, um, I see a sharing here. I see a sharing of time. I see a sharing of emotions. I see a sharing of energy. This is all about karma with the will of fortune, getting what you deserve. Sagittarius Pisces energy here. Taurus is here as well. Definitely, I see very good things happening for you guys between the 1st and the 15th. Um, I, I see longevity here. I see the start of something here with the Wheel of Fortune. This is a card, um, the, the Jupiterian card. Okay. What is the outcome for them? The Six of Swords. Two people in the Six of Swords. You see that? I see you guys moving on. I see you moving on together. I see them laying down the hurt, um, whatever whatever betrayal or whatever they felt like before. I see them setting that aside and, and listening, honestly. Okay. Talking, discussing. All right, guys? So that is what I have for you guys. And I think I basically called out all of the signs. Um, Capricorn is here. Sorry, the camera cut off, but I see Pisces, Cancer, um, Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Taurus. All right, guys. So let me pull a Romance Angels card for you guys and close out this reading. What other messages do we have for Gemini? What other messages for Gemini do we have? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Take advantage of this. I, I feel there's definitely a lot of love here. There's a lot of regret here for things that have happened in the past, but I definitely see a lot of love here. Um, maybe there was some toxic energy here before, but I feel like um, you guys have been working. I feel like there's a lot that you've realized. I feel like there's a lot that this individual has realized as well. Okay. Alright guys, so that's what I have for you and I'll speak with you guys soon.